Hello and welcome to a Missions Moment. I'm your host, Brian Mark Weller. Lord, help us to give our all to answer your call. So many have prayed that prayer over the years. But today I want to talk about one person who lived it out. His name is C.T. Studd. And he was an All England cricket star who lived from 1862 to 1931. In his college days, he gave up a professional career as a cricket player to become a missionary. At the age of 25, he gave away a great family fortune to support the mission work of men of God such as George Mueller and Hudson Taylor. C.T. Studd then answered the missionary call God had placed on his own heart by following Hudson Taylor to China. He subsequently served as a missionary to India. And with his family, he returned to England. After 21 years of mission work in both China and India, he was in severely poor health at that time, and everyone expected him to stay in England. But C.T. Studd soon and unexpectedly received a new and quite distinct call from God, drawing him directly into the heart of Africa. At the age of 53, he departed for Africa with a complete and profound reliance on God's promises. To all who questioned the wisdom of his choice, C.T.'s reply could be found printed on the postcard that graced his desk. If Jesus Christ be God and died for me, then no sacrifice can be too great for me to make for him. Even though I read the biography of C.T. Studd many years ago, I've never failed to recall his famous heroic declaration of faith in Jesus Christ. His example stands as both a challenge and an inspiration compelling me to keep my eyes on the things that are most important to God. I'll admit it to you, I have so many times failed to keep my eyes on those most important things. I feel like I've not sacrificed all that much to serve the Lord. But like you, I have a strong desire to serve God with my whole heart. I'm still in the process of discovering in bits and pieces what serving the Lord with my whole heart really means. But faith rousing quotations from great men and women of God along with countless inspirational verses from Scripture, continue to stir me from the inside out. I feel compelled to give it all to answer the call and fulfill the great commission of Jesus Christ. Every one of us needs a continual reminder about our foremost purpose as believers and followers of Jesus Christ. Our foremost purpose is to know God and to make Him known. And when we're sidetracked from this biblical clarion call, we inevitably slip into a time of particularly low spiritual productivity, sliding away from being God-centered, quickly becoming self-centered instead. We'll begin to look to material things and to worldly entertainments to give us the contentment we seek, rather than looking to God and then living out His purposes and plans. God's Word reads in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 6-8, through 8, But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into this world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. So let's put God first, and keep God first in all things. In closing, I want to share another quote by C.T. Studd. How could I spend the best years of my life in living for the honors of this world when thousands of souls are perishing every day? So Lord, Help us to give our all to answer your call. If you need help in getting started in this, I advise you to get involved with your missions outreach of your local church or visit our website, messageministries.org, and we'll point you in the right direction. You've been listening to a Missions Moment. I'm your host, Brian Mark Weller.